Remember um, that? Did you ever play Seven Minutes in Heaven as a no, kid? I wanted to. Oh, desperately. I mean, it, it felt like one of those things where I'm like, where does this happen? Did you ever play Spin the Bottle? I did uh, when I, so me and Kevin, this is like a real coming base story. So uh-huh. me and my friend Kevin Wong, who was like, he was my only friend in middle school. We had these two girls over and they were like into Kevin. Kevin was like hot and ripped. And we all played paintball at my dad's house because we had a, a big foresty backyard. And uh, after this paintball session, I I think maybe I pitched it or maybe they did. I don't feel like I'm this bold. I was like, we had CO2 bottles. And I was like, let's play spin the CO2 bottles. Ah, mm-hmm. And we played it on like my bed and we were like in seventh or eighth grade. So it wasn't like it, we were like at like, you know, a little private school. So we were, we were not, no one was having sex. Someone got felt up eighth grade and it was like a scandal of the yeah. century. Yeah, man. And uh, I don't think we actually spun it, but eventually the two girls, Ebion and Noor, they said, we'll kiss if you guys kiss. Mm-hmm. And like Kevin and I, there was always jokes about people saying that I was gay for Kevin because Kevin would not be into any girls. He was like always like work focused or whatever. And he, yeah. he'd say, can you tell him work I'm not focused interested? in middle school, high school. Yeah. Just like homework yeah. at soccer. Yeah. He just, he just didn't like, he just didn't like any, or he wasn't like, maybe he w- didn't go through puberty yet. Cause later he was hooking up at like in high school or whatever. Yeah. But so he'd send me to be like, Kevin's not into you. And then they'd be like, Oh, you want Kevin all to yourself? And in a way I did, but not like sexually. You just wanted a friend. Yeah. I just wanted a friend. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I, I had a friend like One that. One time Kevin said to me, he wasn't trying to be mean. I was just clingy, but he he was like, you don't have to follow me to the water fountain. Oh my God. John Marco. Oh, Brutal. man. I'll never forget that. That, that, I'll oh, I love it. you. I'm so sorry. I that's a, it. that's a, that's a, such a. You don't have to follow me to the water fountain. And I was like, I was, I, I, I oh, I'm 100% man. sure I was like, holy I, shit, I was, that breaks my I heart. I was thirsty too. I was thirsty. Can I tell you something? I'm going to be so vulnerable because I've had, one and a half drinks. Yeah. Today, the or this this weekend, I was in New Hampshire, and I was on um this like there's like a really beautiful like, uh trail that is like an old uh railroad trail that they've converted to like a walking slash uh bike path. Uh huh. And it's like 22 miles, so you can like walk, and it's like beautiful. It's through the woods. It's by lakes it's like it's so beautiful so whenever we go i always do like a like a longer walk like i might with my music and stuff oh my god so then uh, uh on the second day i was doing my walk and i was like i'm gonna go further than than i usually go because i would not we had no plans till the nighttime so i was like i'm gonna do like a two hour like walk and and i'm walking back and i see a middle school boy fat on his bike not loving it do you know what I mean? Like he's and he's with his mom yeah. and the energy is very like you're fat. You need to exercise. Mm-hmm. And I just saw him. I saw him on the way out and then I saw him coming back and I saw his mom like waiting for him. And she was very skinny and very like sure hurry. Like she was like encouraging him. And he had when we passed the second time, we locked eyes and he had such shame and like. I just saw something. It was like yeah. looking at myself at that yeah. age. And I just start like he got past me. And I started weeping. Oh my it was God. so upsetting to me. I was like, oh, like this kid is like, I felt the energy of like the mom being like, you need to lose weight. And my mom was not like that. But like, sure. there's like things that come up like that, you know, yeah. when you're that age. And I saw it in his eyes and it was such a brief moment. But I saw he was so shamed to have other people see him. Like yeah. that, like that he was like being seen in like having to like, and he was not happy. He was not enjoying this fucking bike ride. What would you say to him? I don't know. And that's the hard thing is like, you're like, it's going to be really like, you're going to have so much stuff. So that's what was hard too, is you're like, I don't know what I would say to a little fat kid that you're like, cause you're like, it's not like the, when you're gay, you're like, it gets better. <laughs> you're like, sure. I don't know, man, it's going to be pretty bad the whole time. People won't respect you when you're like older either i don't know what to say you know what i mean like what that's, would you say to you though i mean what you say to you like you have to be you have you're gonna to have like, like uh you're gonna have a beautiful wife and you're gonna have a happy but they won't all like it's like the thing of like <laughs> the thing is like you gotta like pray to god that you're like <laughs> interesting and like like you have like things going on because like get it's funny you get funny. Get funny. You better get funny. But, but that's that's the hard thing is like because you, you don't know how people. people not every fat person turns out funny. I mean, the odds <laughs> are in her favor. But I, I like. <laughs> but like, 
I mean, uh, like it was this thing where I was like, I don't know what I thought about that because I was like, what would I say? I don't know, but it broke my heart. And it was like, it just was like this thing, this moment. And it was like, oh man, that feeling of like being uh, shameful and like, and like trying to do it, but you're not going to do it. Like, I was like, oh man, look, like, I remember that feeling in the neck. I'm fat still. Like, I just wanted to like shake and be like, this was you. I am you. We are, we, you're going to be. And, and also being like, don't not be because God damn it. Sometimes when they, they lose everything. I, it, that was the other thing I was like in my head, I was like spiraling being like, the people we've lost in the fat community to being skinny, it never turns out better. Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? John uh -huh. Goodman, we've been through this. John Goodman, Chris Pratt, none of them turn out more interesting once sure. they're skinny. They're always more boring. Sure. Something's lost in translation when you lose that weight. So I... I Can you imagine if I could do an AI, I'd do... Uh, Chris Farley, if he's, he lived and got oh, really skinny. Oh, God, no. He's so Chris sad. Farley. What if that was my With character? that voice? That could be a character I screen, do. Skinny, skinny Chris Farley. Farley. <laughs> Does he have anything to talk about? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, sorry. I like. I just like. He's just like, oh, I'm going to eat this whole bag of baby carrots all at once. Ah, oh, I'm crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, that's really moving. No, I know. And I, 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 it happens a lot, though. I think of it like. I I'm drawn to that age, like not not sexually. <laughs> I'm drawn, like I find myself thinking about. What was that. the hardest? What was the hardest period of your life? Was it high school? Was it middle school? Middle school, really? A of all, I moved, so it was a new school. Sure, middle school, and you know you're fat, and you you're not established. To not be an established person when you're fat. You, you have to be established, you know, you have to like be in elementary school and be like, oh, people know me here. They like what I'm putting down. So to like start a whole new thing in middle school, which is the hardest time middle school, no one knows what they are, you know? So that was hard. It's like I, me, I'm very shy if I'm uh -huh. like getting to know you and it's not till you know me that you're like, oh, he's funny. And he's, sure, you know, sure, sure. so it took a while. It took a while to get established in middle school and, and as a fat person. I think it's, there's some, I believe it's a Dave Chappelle bit, but he talks about, I feel like he talks about going to like a, 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 a school that had like a lot of black students. And like the twist of the joke was like, you know, if you believe in yourself, you better get good at basketball or entertainment. Cause there's the only, there's only yeah. a couple ways out of this shit. Yeah. And it's like, I like that idea of, of you going to like just fat kids and going like, you better get funny or big movie producer, but careful with that one. And like, <laughs> yeah, you're going to abuse it if you are. You're going to abuse, you're don't gonna abuse, abuse it. it. Don't abuse There's it. No way you're not abusing it if you're a fat movie producer. Um, because also like everyone knows that producers, there's the only thing good about them is their money. Like no offense to all the producers listening, but you're like, it, that's all we, it's not like you're like, wow. Oh my God. The creative choice. They, they're not being creative. So I, I think it's the thing of like, well, we'll delete that if you know. <laughs> But, but 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 the thing is like no they have to be funny they have to be interesting they have to be insightful and funny and interesting because but do you think you could have said that to yourself you said like hey you're you're talented and and like lean into that and like i don't know if that kid's talented he could be not talented sure that's the hard thing about it and that's what makes it sad is you're like and and like also like a lot of kids are fat and then they're not and and then sure. that's sad too to me because it was just the moment of like seeing yourself and being like, I fully know what this kid is going through right now. I could see in his eyes. He was not happy to be on that trail. And, and he was, he was just so he, and he saw me as a fat person and it was something about it. Now, what if he saw you and I was like, I'm going to get a, master this bike. I'm going to fucking go as hard as I can. Well, I'm, that doesn't mean you feel good either. Because well, I, 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 I want to be like, I'll be like, saying, like, I'll be like, like listen, kid, I've been on Broadway. You're never going to do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, like, 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 yeah, I'm going to be competitive with him still. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm saying him growing up, wherever he's growing up, it's definitely not going to be better than me. If I was a little kid and I, and I, if I was a little kid and I looked back at like the other guy that looked like an older version of me was crying in the trees. I'd be like, I better get, yeah. I better start riding every goddamn day. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to The Downside, the Downside. with John Marco Cerezi.